In nearly 50 years spent directing movies, Ridley Scott has shown himself to be a filmmaker willing to try his hand at just about every genre under the sun. Given the variety of movies he's made, and the general inconsistency of those films, it's quite difficult to narrow his filmography down. One common thread in a decent number of his movies are great villains. The best villains found throughout the work of Ridley Scott have become iconic and have left an undeniable impact on pop culture. The Last Duel is up there as one of the best Ridley Scott movies released in recent memory, though it notoriously didn't do well upon release. It's a historical drama set in France during the 1300s and revolves around a horrific crime and its violent aftermath. One of the perspectives we see comes from the perpetrator of the crime, Jacques Legree, which uncomfortably means the last duel explores his headspace and the way he rationalizes what he did. Adam Driver pulls off this difficult role, and Legree's stomach-turning villainy is unforgettable. Overall, Legend isn't necessarily a great Ridley Scott movie, but it does stand out when it comes to its lead villain. If the plot wasn't on the nose enough, the Lord of Darkness also looks just like your average depiction of the devil. Legend isn't exactly remarkable, but just about any movie with Tim Curry playing an antagonist is worth a watch. Blade Runner's status as a landmark film has been well established by now. Rudger Howard plays Roy Batty in his most iconic role. Batty commits acts of violence and does seem to be the film's antagonist, but it's also easy to feel sympathy for him as his character arc develops throughout the film. Gladiator stands out among Ridley Scott movies for being the director's only film that won Best Picture at the Oscars. Joaquin Phoenix gives one of his greatest performances as the lead antagonist, managing to be genuinely creepy throughout. Russell Crowe's quest for revenge wouldn't be nearly as easy to get behind if his target wasn't as unbelievably evil and slimy. While the Xenomorph isn't nearly as complex or nuanced as some of the aforementioned villains, it's one of the greatest and most memorable movie monsters in history, and a huge reason why Alien is regarded as an all-time great. It's one of the most efficient and deadly villains of its kind, seemingly custom-made to kill other lifeforms as quickly and viciously as possible. Like any great villain, the Xenomorph also elevates the film's protagonist, and helps create an iconic final act.